Okay, Ube Emes Yeshleima. Five lines into page Ramalev. Now, you know by now, I hope I trust, I pray, that we have two Leishanisi, Leishanisi of Perik Aleph and Leishanisi of Perik Beis. What's the difference between the Leishanisi of Perik Aleph and the Leishanisi of Perik Beis? So in short, the difference is that in Perik Aleph, Leishanisi was the Chayis Aleki, that is Chayis going into each world. Each world gets um, each world gets chayis in a different way. So the chayis is an infant shanisi. And the Rebbe gave three answers in Pedic Aleph for that's not a shanisi. Then Pedic base begins with a new kasha. And the new kasha was that not only is there shalaf and shanisi because the chayis of the which comes into the world, there's a shayla of shanisi from the world itself, from the metzias of the world itself, you have a shayla of shanisi. From the metzias of the world itself, you have a shayla of shanisi. So we had one answer, it took us a long time, maybe three weeks even. The yesod of it was that yesh mayayin is b'chol rega. And, and, and of course, the, I want to just emphasize the lotion of the Alter Rebbe. The dvar havaya, the Ebesh creates the world with words, or the idea of, of, of shame say yikru lei b'loshna kedesh. The name that each person has, and Hidayach Yedah B'Shafanish, in Lashna Kedesh, this is his Kayas. Did you say Bechas Hashach and Bechas Ateira? Did you say Bechas Hashach? You can't come to go say Bechas Hashach. First say Brachas. Shema Sheyikro Lashna Kedesh is your Kayas. The Kayas of each Nivra is the Hebrew name. So the Abish that spoke, Mamores or Mamorim, to create the various different creations. And the Kayas of each Nivra are the Oisias of that name. Kumto choisit, at b'chol rega v'rega Hashem is speaking rakia, b'chol rega v'rega the Ebishter is speaking that in Tacha Oretz Desha, whatever the Indian is, the b'chol rega v'rega the Ebishter is speaking Nasa Odom, or Teitze Ha'oretz, or Yishter Tzu Hamayim, or whatever the case is, and it's giving chais those creation. So b'meila, the Rebbe says is, what's the Lashon Harav? Hare Yuvan Apianal, yeah? Tzichem Laham and Kol Ahavan. What's really going on? What are we really? We are really the Dvar Avaya, not the Metzies Gashmi. So that's why it's Leisha Nisi, because we're not the Geshem as we perceive ourselves. We are the words of the Ebishter, which are perpetually renewing us. It says the Rebbe, five lines into page Mamal, for Be'emes Yeshleim Rabbitl Be'emek Yes. To be sure, we can say the Bittl on a higher level. And again, the way I teach this to you, and this is just me, the way I teach this to you, When you read the Pasuk and the Avaya Leisha Nisi, the first thing you have to do is translate the word Avaya. And based on the translation of the word Avaya, you come away with different Leisha Nisis. So, the same we did in Perik Aleph, we're doing again in Perik Beis. If Havaya is Loshen Mahave, Havaya means Loshen Mahave, the lowest shame Havaya, and I explained to you how that works. al brings in a Shadichet Vemunah, that you spell the three letters He, Vav, He, with a Choylem and a Komet, Hoi, Vav. And the yud has a shva underneath it, so that goes on a tmidius. The yud becomes loshen hoiver. You have a pasuk, kocha yase iyer, but yase iyer tomi kol ayomim, and it's brought in svarim in sifri machshas sifri diktuk that this is inyan from present, right? Like you have in pasuk kisis and next week's pasha, umayshe lokach leyes ha'el v'not leymichutz amachan v'karol ha'el meid v'ayik of akshavaye. So Rashi says on that that this is loshen hoiver. The Torah is describing what Moshe Rabbeinu did in a way like if he's doing it every minute, including this minute. And that's the title. Yeah. Dash, 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 dash. Hoiva, that Hashem's act of creation is present. Hoiva means creation, and the Yud with a Shva goes on the fact that it's present. But then you have a second Havaya. And the second Havaya is in Yinsaf. Hoya, Hoiva, Vayiyah, Kiyachat. So if you translate any violation, you see a violation, Mahave. The Leisha Nisi is what we just learned. That since Hashem is created, the world is not really the world. The world is really the atheist. The Dvar But if you're going to try to say that goes on eating soft, you could say the Indian of Leisha Nisi in a more precise, in a more perfect, in a whole and whole complete way. Why? And the Rebbe gives us the classic idea of Tzim Tzim Shalei And the truth of the matter is, it's very, very similar 
So how we explained it in Pei Dekalaf. I don't know if you remember what Pei Dekalaf. Pei Dekalaf's kasha was what? What was the kasha of Pei Dekalaf? How, how can you say Hashem is different in the world? Hashem gives chayis to different worlds in different ways. Yeah. So what's the answer? There's really one chayis. It's called Seyv of Kalam. What we perceive of that chayis changes from world to world. Hashem gives one light to all the worlds. We get different increments of that light experientially. What we feel of that light changes from world to world. But the light is one. That was the vart in the period of Aleph. So in Pedic Bay, you're going to say a very similar vart. And you have violation, you see, you know why? Because we're swimming in the sea of Ainsaf. That's the answer. Or to go to the classic form, right? Here we go. When you speak about the Inyafan Simpson, what's the first thing you got to say? Space. Mokim. Very good. The brainwashing was effective and successful. So Chaim points out correctly that the Emma says before Mokim, we have to say one more thing. Rotz. You're both right. Rotzen, and when they Rotzen, Miyak is all over the shining with the Shetazel. Once he has, what does he have? He has time and space and matter automatic in his ruts as soon as he wants it. Now, then, all the riches ain't safe. But once he has mokum, it's filled with ain't safe, you can speak about symptom taking away the eight ain't safe from the mokum. So, derachagav, and it's a very important derachagav. One of the chidushim in this whole shita, this whole Indian, the way the al understands it, is that Tzimtzum has nothing to do with Ebishter, with Moir, Tzimtzum has to do with Oir. Because Tzimtzum has to do with Mokim. And Oir, which is a Metzius, you could speak about Oir, Lagabi Dina Mokim. That means it even doesn't, it as a push. But Lagabi Dina Ebishter, there's no Mokim, so we say Hamoir will be his galas. And then when we say that the Ebishter had a Ratz, and he created Mokim, and then he evacuated that Mokim, so this evacuation from Mokim is called Tzimtzum. And the Eifen, the Tzimtzum is B'derech Siluk, like it says in Hasidus. So they became a Machlekes amongst Talmidi Harizal and Talmidi Talmida, whether the Tzimtzum is Kipshute, or the Tzimtzum is Shalei Kipshute. Tzimtzum Kipshute means that in the Mokim, in the Mokim, there's no air. And the Tzimtzum Shalei Kipshute is that in the Mokim, there's the same air that there was, Kedem HaTzimtzum. Now, if you're then, we're not Marish it. The second Achtos that the Rebbe brings here is only according to that Shittah. If you go in the sheet of Tzimtzum Kipshutah, you cannot say what's going to be written here. Because according to the sheet of Tzimtzum Kipshutah, the stuff isn't here. But we hold, the Alter Rebbe holds, the Baal Shem Tev holds, Chesidus holds, that Tzimtzum is Shalei Kipshutah. So when you speak about creation being a Shanisi, because before there wasn't a world, and now there is a world, has a Chesed Pesh Pasha, before there was, no, before there was a world, there was Eirin Tzav. And inside the Eirin Tzav, there was a possibility for a world. The possibility for everything. Well, guess what? There's still a self, and there's still a world only in a possible state. The difference is only you feel like you're separate from the Eidin self. But you're swimming in a sea of Eidin Tzav. Tzim Tzum Shalei Kip It's a much more precise, it's much more wholesome, much simpler Leishan Nisi. Let's read it inside. It shouldn't take us long. Ubemes Yeshlema, to be sure. Habitl, the idea of Leishan Nisi, because that the world is one with the Eibish that after he made it. Precisely as it was one with the Ebishter before he made it, but Eimek is a naktiv. Dine. This by Yalel in the first pedic of this Maimed, which would be on page Lamed Zayin, beginning with the line that says Elukus, we explained the ads and made in save bar in save bar chos nim to lamatak mele mele mamish that godliness and we basically mean save of kalamin and as you all know, basically is a bad word, but I'm allowed to use it. Yeah. Save if kalaman is nim tzalamatak meila meila mamish. It's found all over the same. In the lowest worlds, in the highest worlds, mamish. When she calls, so it says in the pasuk, "Kase shemayim ve'sharat ani mole ani fills shemayim ve'aras." Now chevra ani goes a mamala kalaman or save of kalaman and prove it. Go back to page lamid zayin, and I'm going to waste time now. Find me the line where this is discussed and show it to me. Find me the line in Berale. Find me the line which is discussed. Read the words. Stup, over here, just two psukim. But also only one pussy. But this is a further riot to the way I corrupt the Maimer. In page Lamed Zayin, he brought Molech, So which is Seviv, which is Mamale? Ani is Seviv, and. Anybody home? Kvede is Mamale. What's that? The Pussy, Ani, it says Shemayim and Oretz. 
And in the Pasuk Kaved, it says only Yaretz. Malach ala Aretz Kaved. Why? Because Kaved goes on a Lavush, goes on a Hara, goes on a Malach ala Each world is different. Ani goes on Etzem, which is Bechol Malach and Beshava. So here, the Rebbe only brings that Pasuk. Why doesn't he bring both Pesukim? Because over there, he was talking Taka. He was going from the higher level to the lower level. Here, he's talking only the higher Madreg. The lay sasar ponim There is no asad. That means no mokim, which is vacant from the word asad is Aramaic for mokim. Okay. So the MS is and itself is all over, right? Okay. Say it, Kevra. I'm going to be now painful. How do you say in other words that itself is all over? How do you say in other words that itself is all over? Okay, how do you say in other words? Tzim tzum sheloi kipshut. That this takam mokem. But the idea that koyachal alakus. Now we're not talking about the eibishter. Eibishter the chal neshachas the mokem. Eibishter linus alakus. Evacuate the mokem sheloi kipshut. So the Rebbe Pashit spells it out for you. Rak nor vajaden inside. Yes, seven lines in the top. Shehu helam lagabein. It is hidden to us. It's not revealed to our experience. Why? Push it. If it would shine in a revealed way, the world would become nothing. Ayin means nothing, like in the state of Machshava. And Ephes means nothing, like in the state of not even Machshava, right? Now, let's talk this through, right? You cannot have two Metzias in the same space. Because the definition of a metzias is that he's tefes makom. A metzias takes up space. Correct? So, Eidin Tzav is a metzias. And what's the metzias of Eidin Tzav? Dveikas and Gilei Velikus. What's the metzias of El? Helem and Havdalah and Agbola and Ischalkus. Right? All the things which are the opposite of Velikus. If you put them to the same space, two metzias, and they cancel each other out. One will have to destroy the other. Eidin Tzav and Velt cannot cohabit. They can't be in the same space. And in Saf pushes away Velt, right? Now what doesn't push away Velt? What's not a steed of the Velt? The Eibishter. The Eibishter is called Hamoy Rubi His Gal. Hashem himself is revealed in the Makkah B'chol. So the Shariqat Mullah Rebbe brings, because he's not Pagyad the Makkah. Right? But you tell me. Why is the Eibishter not a steed to the Velt? If Eibishter Linus, which is lower than Eibishter, is a steed to the Velt? Because the Eibishter is not a Metzias Nimt. Velt and the Lakus contradict because the Lakus is Eid. Eid is Gilu, Eid is Metzias. Metzias A and Metzias B cancel each other out. One is Bittel and Dveikus and Gilu of the Eibishter and the other is Helam and Right? Opposites. But the, the Eibishter himself was a built in Metzias Nimt. That's why we had in the third answer, Pedic Aleph, Adar Rabba Amoru Bezgals, Hashem is not a contradiction to the world. Hashem Linus is a contradiction to the world. So the Altar says, Eber Hashab now says, you should know, Tim Tzum Shlekem Shud. And in Tzav is Namakam Machal like before. Now I have to remember the key word in that phrase is the word Makam. Because Makam is the Chiddush. Before the Eber creates anything, when you speak about creation, the first thing you have to understand is you cannot have a creation for Yachal unless there's a Makam. And the whole question of Tzimtzum is in relationship with Maka. So you have Eidin Saf, you have Velt, this is a Metzias Nimta, this is a Metzias Nimta, they would conflict, so Eidin Saf is Behel. Mashenkin Hashem himself, because he's a built-in Metzias Nimta, Adar Abbe, Hamaru Bezgas, the Eibishta is more revealed in the place of Tzimtzum than in the place of Giloy, like the famous Mashal, the reason you can't look at the sun is because of the sun's rays, but if you remove the light, you see the source. Eidin Saf is in a state of Tzimtzum, the godliness has to be removed because the Metzias Nimtza of Alakus and the Metzias Nimtza of Velt contradict each other. So the male does a Tzimtzum. So Hamoiru Bezgaz, you're actually closer to Atzmas. I'm just saying this, Derech Agav. It's not Negei Pshat and Maimit here, but it's just important to keep in your heads the Amit So the Rebbe says, if Tzimtzum shall ekip shute, what does that mean? We're swimming in the Sea of Eden Tzav. Before Hashem made us, what were we? We were... Forgive me for saying bad words. We were photons of the age safe. Not that the Abishta made us. We continue to be photons of the age safe. The whole difference is pieces. Pieces of light, which is a stinim in Aobe. Yeah. Now we don't know that we're pieces of light. We think of ourselves like Let's read it inside. 
Avo Behelem, in this hidden state, how many lines in the top? Eight lines of the page. Hunimtza Lamatok, Melamai Lamamish, he's found below is above Mamish. Now, listen carefully to my translation, okay? Page Mem Aleph, nine lines into the page, beginning of the line. Cooked in Evenik. Viziv Ha'ara Mimenu. An array or a trace of the Eden Saf. Now, Zivin Ha'ara Chevre is Mamala Kalam. Okay? You have Oir Viziv, Ziv Oir, the, the classic case of confusion regarding this question is the Shara Yich as Munapedic Yud. And I always point out to you that the Sikh Rebbe Nesav is a Chedek Hafalaf. I showed to a number of you already this year with the Rebbe's Ma'ayin the difference between Pedic Gimel and Pedic Yud when he speaks about the Bittal Eir Shemesh B'Shemesh. You have always the word Ziv Eir, Ziv and Eir, Eir V'Ziv. As a rule, when you have Eid and Ziv together, Eid is Seviv and Ziv is Mamale. So the Rebbe says, the Eid ain't Seviv, that means the Seviv Kalal, Ziv, which means a Mamale. Which is a ha'ar of the seviv. It's a diminished seviv. Says the Rebbe Takenim, Shachem Echol Nivra comes into its creation. Lachayet says to give him life. Now this is Mamale. And Mamale is Begilui. Kanal as we discussed before. Now Kanal could mean a number of things. But we're going to translate Kanal as what we learned in Pedic Lamites and Pedic Mem. What did we learn in Pedic Lamites and Pedic Mem? That Hashem creates the whole world. With dvaravai, with words, correct? Amud lamet esel men. Read the previous two pages. So we're going to say that when it says here, ziva ha'aram imen or nimshay bechol nivel lachayese kanal goes on the idea that yesh meyayin. Even though the word lachayese is not exactly matam but yesh meyayin, it's more matam to what we had in page lamet zayin. That every world gets a certain amount of chayes, more chayes, less chayes. Vachayetsim is never cholup. Om. Okay, but we're going to say that it goes on we had in this Pedic. So the Mamale Kalal Min Take is different words. There's a different word for Yehi Avram Baruch, and different words for Yehi Yasef Yitzchak, and different words for Yehi Meyazev, Yehi different words for Yehi Yudimachal. Now I started, I got to finish, otherwise someone's going to think that they're not being created. Yehi Allah Talmidim, Yehi Allah Talmidim, Kol HaNa'orim, Un Allah Gedele Yisrael, Un Allah Gresa, Guta Yid, Yehi Rav Avram Heresh, Rav Nachem Endel Ezra. <laughs> and Shai ben Yomir and Chai Menashe and Shalom Dei Ber and uh, you have more than one name Yitzhak Hersh Hersh okay so everyone Baruch Hashem everyone's created me I am Ever Samuch and Liesh Rabbi Sterbeck Shlita okay now wait but this is Mamale right this is Mamale hello this is Mamale this is personalized you have yours and he has his and I have mine and again, if you'll, if you'll hear what I'm saying, is there's two, two, two mamales. And this is controversial, and I'm not sure if I even believe what I'm saying, but I'm saying it anyway. One aspect of the mamale is the yeshmeyayin aspect of the mamale. What's the es, yeshmeyayin as mamale? Hashem speaks your mitzvahs every rega rega. Yehi, plenty ben plenty, bechol rega rega. And the other plenty ben plenty also. Hashem, everyone gets something else. That's yeshmeyayin. In addition to that, you have an neshama, which is in your guf. That's for sure your chayas. This is called Ziva Ha'ara. Ziva Ha'ara is specialized, it's tailored, it's specific. Each Nivra different. Say in the aspect of Yesh Mayayin, which we call the Shemes, or the Dvar Avaya. And for sure, the aspect of Chayas, every creation feels that it's alive. And if he has any Chush, he feels that his life comes from the Ebishtad also. It's very personalized. But says the Rebbe, V'ziva Ha'ara Mimenu, look inside nine lines into the page, a, tr- a ray or a trace of the save of Kalam and Nim, Shebuchon the Vlachayetz Kanal comes and it gives it life. And I'm saying that life means Mamale Kalam in two aspects. The Yesh Mayayan aspect that every creation is created by different Varavayan. It's one of the most difficult ideas to understand the Shariyach at Vemuna. That Yesh Mayayan is not one event, which is the Mashmos and the Rishonim and Breshis. Every single creation gets created separately behind Vephis. It's not like Hashem made matter yesh meyayin and then he mixes it together to create the meyer zeb and the machal. He makes every niver, this table, Hashem is making yesh meyayin separately with different oisias than the other table. And then the shtender and the hat and the bag. You understand? And then there's the chayis. says the Rebbe. Ach, however, that's when you're talking about the memalek mamish. Now what in that, those four words, what's the most important word? Mokem, mokem, in every place. Shemispasha, shemavaya. 
where a ha'od of shame avaya radiates. And over here, that boy said the word avaya means the lower avaya, the avaya from the last two pages, or avaya from page lamed zayin, avaya l'asham ahava lahaches aniva to give him a malakal alma to each nivra. And as I'm pointing out, there's two malakalamas in each nivra. There's the yesh meyayin of malakalam in each nivra. Hashem makes every single creation separately, and then there's the 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 yesh me yesh of mamala kalama that Hashem gives you in a shama says the Rebbe you should know shama mesh nimtze bechinah say in seif atzmas amos the seif of kalama and seif of kalama is one side fits all shu mokar eir vaziv it's the source of the light and the ray which of course would again be the mamala kalama so in the first two pages of pedig bays we were talking about the mamala kalama. So we discussed how could you say any violation? He's like a malakalam, and so you answer. It's since Hashem has created the world, b'chol ega v'ega, ma'ayim v'efes hamuchot liyesh. He makes each one of us every single instant. You know. So what are we really? Ilun the delicious lion it is. What are we really? We're dvar avaye. Now the Rebbe says, wait a minute. That's only step one. What step two? All these dvar havayes are part of Eden Seif, a Seif of Kalaman. And since the Tzimtzum of Tzalei Kipshute, they were Seif of Kalaman before they were dvar havayes. They were Seif of Kalaman before they were Chayis Aliki. They were Seif of Kalaman before they made uh, us as individual creations. And they st- still Seif of Kalaman. Accordingly, it's necessary to say, Shekol Nivra, each creation. Bottle betachlis is bottle absolutely. And again, the translation in English of the word bittel in the 2020 Oxford edition is bittel. Be ain't save atmos mus and save of kalam. Another course. The kmeziv v'sheis this is the word. Right? It's it's powerful and it's not complicated. Right? There's a mamalik kalamin. In Pedic Aleph, the mamalik kalamin gave chayas each creation differently. In Pedic Beis, mamalik kalamin is dvara vaya. Which is raking my eye in the efes liyesh each nivra separately, right? And then there's how the mamale is a part of sevev. How is the mamale part of sevev? The answer is simsum shalekip shute. And he explains using the marshal of the sun. Please look inside. Nothing will happen to you if you look inside. I promise you, you remain the same at siyas with the same yeshes. You're and no you can more. still follow the same. Ball team, and you can still enjoy, have the same hobby, and you can still have the same priority. And Chach Maschitzenius, if you look inside the Maimed, you're not going to suffer in any way, shape, or form. Avram Baruch says he may actually gain, but I'm saying you're not going to lose. So the line that begins with Atzmas and Hus, it's 11 or 12 lines onto the, into the page. The Kmeiziv Hashemesh, like the rays of the sun, Shemei Lo'odis Veladodim Alev, which radiates to the earth and those who dwell upon it. Now, Chemre. When you say those words, Ziv Hashemesh, Shemei Ela'odah Daramalei, what's the most important logical detail to add? Ziv Hashemesh, Shemei Ela'odah Daramalei, what's the most important? That is, everyone's, that, that, there's a source for the light that comes from. That the light comes from someplace else. The sun is over there, and we're over here, therefore the light is meaningful to us. Yeah, what would happen if we would be a part of that light? <laughs> it would be kind of expensive, as they say, yeah? That says that, but Kamei Shehu Buguf Kadar Before that light travels 93 million miles and reaches the earth to provide light and warmth and even life to us, it was in the sun, yeah? Sham Bottle Betachlis. The state of bittel between the light and the source is a tachli as dika bittel. And then the Rebbe says, Ve'eni eilu b'shem ziv klau, you wouldn't even refer to it as a ray. Ve'ein shayech leimar alav, you cannot say about it to Metzias. Bifnei what's the translation of the word Metzias in English? And here you have to give the right translation. Form. Form. That means a goof. It has no Metzias, a goof by itself. And ele mekede, only its source. And it is bottle, but tachlis, bottle absolutely. If any of the mitzvahs has no form whatsoever inside the sun, there's no mitzvahs. I have a chavit who's a real masculine. See this? So he pointed out to me many, many years ago that there's different my modem. When they use the marshal of the light of the sun in the sun, there's different my modem. And there's also in Sharikat Vemuna. Some my modem say that when the light of the sun is inside the sun, it's stronger than when it comes out of the sun. And some of them say when the light of the sun is inside the sun, it's called lav inu neheirin. It's a lush nadeh. There's no light at all. And the way we understand it in Haskalah is two madregis. 
In the lower madreg, you say the light of the sun inside the sun is a mitzvah, but it's more bottle. It's even more mitzvah than after the sun, but it's bottle. Outside the bottle, and the higher madreg is beklal nishkanoid. To us, it's not negayed that has color. In other words, that difference. The word that the Rebbe uses is mitzvah. The Rebbe himself says, "The ain shayech leim and love shu mitzvah." He doesn't say "ve'en shayech shleim and love shu mitzvah." Okay, but he says two things. First, bottle betachlis, and then eile b'shem. Okay, in order for the rays of the sun, for the sun's light to be significant, what do you need? Huh? That the sun shouldn't be here. For the rays of the sun to be of any value, the sun's got to be far away. That's how it works. Right? In the olden days, not everybody went to the Rebbe. They couldn't afford it. And the Rebbe didn't spend his time babysitting like he did with us, does with us. So the the G'day Lachsidim went to the Rebbe. It's the Chlahadl in Africa. There's the big five. So by Chassidim do with the big five. Who are the big five? The Rav, the Mashpia, the Sheikhet, the Melamed, and the Gvir. <laughs> Think of fun some Rebbe. And they used to take everybody's Tzetlach and they used to bring back the minus. That was the, that was the culture. The Rav had fun of Shavuos. When the Rav left his town, yeah, so he was wearing his beautiful chalat, his silk kapote, and Tafi had a beautiful coat with a beautiful silk scarf. And he had his chimadan, and the whole kahila walked him to the train, at Gates Mreb. And then he came to Rudnia, which is the closest train station to Lubavitch. Son of Ochvot Tzemach Tzedek, they wanted to build a train in Lubavitch. And the Tzemach Tzedek said, in Maina Da'al Davos Benicha Balabos. So when they built the train from Moscow to Siberia, it stopped before Lubavitch on one side, and it stopped after Lubavitch on the other side. In other words, they were building in both directions, and the thing broke, ran out of money in Russia, Baruch Hashem. So Lubavitch did not have a train station. Tzemach Tzedek did not want a train station in Lubavitch. Because he didn't want it to be a uh, hobby. He wanted it to be totally mufresh menahelam. In my nadal, that was b'nei chabal abbas. Allah shafat ha mechzedek. So the Vyars, 10, 10 kilometers away, 11 kilometers away, you had the train station in Rudnia. Some chassidim used to walk. But many chassidim took a dos, a coach. So there's a rov, an odom chashov. He leaves his town. They give him so much covet. He rolls into Rudnia. But he's not the only rov coming to Lababish. There's many rabbanim coming to Lababish. All the pnei of Russia, but it's a mechzedek. She was, mamma, she was such a covet. It was such a he did, it was such a yoifi. The Balagolas were locals. Lubavitchers. Lubavitchers from Shtetl Lubavitch. So they knew Sadrov, Sadrebbe. So to them, who's this Rav? The guy could know the whole Shas, the whole Yerushalmi, and Rambam, and Shulchan Aruch, and Dana Eved. So the wagon drives up, and the Balagol doesn't even turn around. Revel, Kirichar, I didn't fucking. Revel. He went from being Rebbe. In his own Shtetl, he was called Rebbe. Yeah. The, the Balagola welcomed him to Lubavitch. It was the Sholem Aleichem. Revel. He didn't What's even call him. Revel means Rav Mitalamed. Revel, climb in. He wouldn't help him with his baggage. So he had to take his own Chimadan. And sometimes he was an old man. He had to put it in the back of the wagon. Because the Balagola had no patience. Who are you? You're a Revel. No one needs you. You understand? So when you buy the Rebbe, you're half garnished. You go back to your mid town. Oh, oh, we run a Matthias. So the word is when the Moy is not here, there is a Matthias. When the aid is not here, the Velt is a Matthias. Correct? So the Rebbe says, in the Moshe of the Sun, in the Moshe of the Sun, we only speak about it spatially. We don't speak about it in terms of Helam Agil, but with Mokim. Where the Sun is not, the aid becomes a Matthias. So to use your word, becomes a Tiyat. Read it inside. Verat only. When the sun's light shines below, Shaykh Allah of Kriyas Shem Zir Bifni Asma. You can actually call it a ray, I'm sorry. You can call it a trace of light. For one reason. By the way, if this was Hebrew, it would not say Shalom Yesh. It would say Ein. Shalom Yesh is Yiddish. Nisht Faran. In Hebrew, you don't say isn't yes. You say Ein. But this is, Chassidus is Hebraicized Yiddish. Or Yiddishized Loshna Ketish. Shalom Yesh Kan. Guf Kader Hashemish. The sun isn't here. Which is Makeda, the source. That's why you can identify the light as a Matthias. Avo. Zoktav Zerav. However. The light of the sun, inside the sun, you should know is bottle of Matthias. It's bottle in its form. You cannot call it by a name, Ziv. And if you wanted to be philosophical about it, you would say that the idea that Hashem creates every single Nivra with different Oisias, because each oi, every Nivra has its own Matthias, its own shame, is outside the market. Inside the market doesn't even have a name. Says the Rebbe, Kmekein Yuvam Benimshal. So in Gashmi, if we talk about the sun and the sun's light, the sun's light is in one place. 
the sun is in a different place, because they're in two different spaces, it allows for the light of the sun to be a mitzvah, to have a name, to be to have an expression. Yeah? When you're talking in the nimshel, it's all in the same makam. Hashem created makam. In that makam there's Eid Yitzhak. In that makam there's Ha'ara Veziv, which creates, which is the Ma'ala Kalama that creates the Nivra'im B'chol Echad B'fnei Yatzmei, gives Chayas to each Nivra. Kol Echad B'fnei Yatzmei, says the Rebbe Me'ach Adein Seif Atzmei Samhus, since the Eibishter, Elokus, Seif Kalama Nim, Tzalamata, B'chol Mokam U Mokam. Ma'mesh Eidin Seif Aseiv Kalam is in every single spot. So lays asad again. What's the what's the Hebrew translation of the word asad? Mokem. There's no place. Pony with vacant mim can come to chais tazei. Heir vehaziv miyin shaf. Eir and ziv means the mamalek kalam. The trace of ain't safe. Shem mispashet, which expands to make you be you as opposed to him, and him be him as opposed to you. The mamalek kalam. And again, I'm repeating. There's two functions of the mamalek kalam. Number one, that there's different dvar havayim. Which is Mahava every single nivra ma'ayim ever samuchet layesh. Number two, into that individuated varavaya there's a neshama, which gives chayes even shall hergish to that nivra. You don't feel your ayin. If you felt your ayin, you'd become ayin. So the varavaya which creates you is hidden from you, but your neshama you can feel. Fakert, the sign of life is that you feel neshama, you feel ruchnis, you feel chayes. So there's two mamalek alamas in each nivra. I just want to clarify something um, about this that I said, that Hashem creates every single nivra yesh meyayin, not just the tzura, but also the chaymer, that when you look in the Rishonim, on Bereishis, yeah, the Ramban, the Rabbein Abachai, and others, the Rambam, so he says that it's three steps. Bereishis, the first boss, Bereishis, Baruch Hashem, Eitz Hashem, Eitz goes on the chaymer kadmein, Eitz Hashem, means the chaymer hashamimi, and Eitz Hashem goes the chaymer haartzi, and that's the whole Yashmayayin. That's what the Ramban says. In the Chabriya, Yashmayayin, God of Mitzvah goes on that first Pasuk. And then the second Pasuk, V'hadas Eisateyu, V'vei, V'chei, Shechal Pnei Seheim, V'ruach, Elokim, Arachav, Sapnei Amoyim. This is the Dalit Suris, Eish, Ruach, Maim, and Ofer, which the way you understand it, and the Rishonim is coming from that Chaim, the Yuli, B'derach, Yili, HaHel. And then from those Dalit Suris, you have the Asadam Amores, which are in the subsequent Pesukim, um, based on all the those are already talking about individual creations, which is a formation of the tzuris. So the pashtas and the rishonim, the yeshmiyayin is on the chaymer kadmin, and the alter rebbe is saying in shalichet mune perikalaf that every single creation is created. That was my point. And the pashtas, they're very different. He said, "I got a secret for you." Not only you, but your chayis, your mamale kalaman, both in terms of what gives you life, as well as in terms of who speaks you into existence. It's, it's probably ten lines from the end of the paragraph at this point. It's bottled in safe atmosmus, which means save of kalaman, to meziva shemesh, as the rays of the sun are. It's in the sun. In the marshal, the sun and the light of the sun are in two different places. In the nimshal, mamalak alamin, and sevak alamin are in the same akim. So how does the mamalak alamin have a metzies? Only for one reason. What's the reason? Because the sevak alamin is behelim. Says the Rebbe, but because you don't experience sevak alamin, it doesn't mean you aren't sevak alamin. It just means you don't feel it. And if you would know that you're sevak alamin, you wouldn't say that you're not really a metzies because Hashem creates you b'chol rega v'rega. You would say you're not a metzies because you're Hashem. I'm going to say that one more time for effect, and this time pay attention. In the previous two pages, Lamites and Mem, we said, why are you not a Metzius of you? Hashem is making you, so you're really the words that Hashem is speaking you, rather than you. Here the Rebbe says, forget about you being the words. The words don't exist. Not you, not a Metzius. The Dvar Avai, which is Mahavah, Mechaya, Mechayim, you doesn't exist either. Why? Because the Eid Veziv is inside the Eid the only reason you perceive yourself as you is because the Yitzhak is Behel. I'm going to read again from Imkain, which I'm going to guess later, 12 lines from the end of the page. Imkain, Kupla, says, Eir v'aziv me'yein seif. The light and the trace of light, which means mamalakam, from me'yein seif. Shemespash, and b'chol nivra, which expands in each creation, is bottle, the yein seif, v'atzimah, continues to be even now. 
bottle to eat safe atom of the save of Kalabi. Kameziva, Shemesh, the rays of the sun, Kameshahu, Kishahu, Bugov Kadre Shemesh, and this is the globe of the body of the sun, the body of the globe of the sun. She ain't Shumitzias, Kalas, no form. If it act not of a Jaden, Lemata, down here, Shayach, Allah of Kriyas, Shame Ziv, if they ask me. We call it Ziv. Why? Because down here the ziv is far from his source. Now, I'm not sure if he means the machol or he means the nimshol, but let's decide that he means the nimshol. The malik kalaman is a mitzvah. You know why? Not because save of kalaman is someplace else, because save comes in the state of helam. And because the malik is a mitzvah, because save state of helam, so we can speak about malik giving us chayes, and we can speak of malik and creating us mayim vefes amuchet leyesh through zvar habaya through dibur. But in amitzah saying yonim, we're one with himself. We can't do the rest of the chayes. He save atzmas amuchet. Save of Kalam. Shinim Tsubakom Makam Mamakim Mamish, which is found in every place, Mamish. Wherever Shaziv Mispashit, wherever the Mamala Kalam goes, Nim Tsub Etsa made it safe to save of Kalam. If you guys would be looking inside, I promise you, you would be gaining from this. It's nine lines from the end, yeah? That Bechom Makam Mamakim Mamish, Shaziv Mispashit, where the Mamala Kalam goes, Nim Tsub Etsa made it safe to save of Kalam is there as well. The mamali is always in the same. Wherever the mamali kalaman is, that will save the kalaman. That's a mitzvah baruch. So now we're not saying that you and I are not real because of the dvara vaya, because of the mamali kalaman. We're saying we're not real because our market isn't real, our dvara vaya isn't real, our chayes of mamali isn't real. You can't even use the name Ziv Klav. Zog der Eber. Ukvan is Bayelel. We already explained before. Shekol Metzias Hanivroyim. The whole Metzias of existence. Nuhu Eid Vachayas. Shemespasha means safe. Is the light that comes to mean safe. Ve'eni Metzias Bifliatsme. It's not a form unto itself. Now you have to understand this word as follows. This line. You and I are nothing compared to our Mamali Kalalman. And now we're saying. And our Mamala Kalaman is nothing compared to the Seva Kalaman. We're nothing compared to our Mamala Kalaman because Hashem creates us Bechol Rege Varege Yesh Me'ayit. And our words of creation, which make us by nothing, the God of Seva Kalaman, because they say for them, Salam Atak Me'elam Ayelam Amish, Uma'acha Shahaziv Bottle. Whereas our Mokad, our Mamala Kalaman, in both aspects, the aspect of Pedak Aleph, that the Malak Alaman gives everybody a different chayis. It's tailored and specialized and individuated to each nivra. And the aspect of Pedak Beis, that is Dvar Havai, words of the Abish, that the Mahava, Machayim, Makan, that create each nivra separately with different oisiyas, Azay, Shtayt, and Shada, Yich, and Zimun, and Aleph. It's not one event of Yesh Me'ayin. There are as many events of Yesh Me'ayin, Bechol Rega, Varega, Zah, Kreshit. Hashem says, He, He, Yesef, Yitzchak, Paltil, Bechol Rega, Varega. And the same goes in each creation. And those oasis are nothing next to the Seva of Kalaman. If our Mamali Kalaman, say the Chayas of Mamali, which is Pedic Aleph, and say the Havoya of Mamali, which is Pedic Beis, is Bottle the Ain Save, automatically Gama Nivra Bottle the Save. We have to Bottle the Ain Save, Seva Kalaman. You exist and I exist because we have two things a Nisham and a Guf. Our neshama comes from the chayes of Mamalak Alamin, and our guf comes from the yeshmiyayin of Mamalak Alamin. And if our chayes and our yeshmiyayin are one with the Seif Asayv of Kalamin, what are we? Vim kein kum tochesed, kol aniru botel betachlis, ain't Seif Atmosus. Every creation is botel betachlis, whatever betel means, to save of Kalamin. Okay, Ella. Look, Vaitit, what's the next words? Shinir Allah nu metiyas ayesh. We see yeshus. We see Tzimtzum on top of Tzimtzum on top of Tzimtzum. Right? Parenthesis. Kedesh yeh bet le yesh liyayin. There's a kavonah. The Yibish that hides, we should have b'chid of and we should be battle ourselves. Ava behem is to be sure who each creation, including us, is bottled by Metzies Lagami, is bottled in its form completely. Vein shum Metzies, there's no form, nifrit, separate and distinct cloud whatsoever. And the bottle by Metzies, bein seif atzmos, am hoz v'chulu, it's all bottled in seviv kalamin. And the Rebbe finishes with these words, Shemitzias Gufa Nivra. This is already a different word. Who may say for Seva Kalam, that the Mitzias the Gufa Nivra. These last five words are Tzadachi and Godel. Because the whole time we're saying that the Devara Vai that creates us is a Mamali. And here he says, Mitzias Gufa Nivra may say for Seva Kalam, but I'm not Micha Mecha. And we are going to play dumb and stupid just for this morning. I will see you tonight and tomorrow.
It's Sunday. Sunday. Oh. So I'm, 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 people have already appointments. Okay, we want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait.